Okay? For situation 5, for number 5, the slug is subjected to a 4 parallel loadings, column loadings, determine the equivalent resultant force and specify its location, x, y on this slug. No? So, ano si F1 tsaka si F2? So, ang F1 natin is 27 and 69. So, this is 27 and then this is 69. Favorite number. So, again, Oh, kapag resultant, oh, tapos nakita nyo puro parallel forces. So, isa to sa pinakamadali. Sobrang bonus na bonus po ito, no? So, this is R. And then, kukunin natin yung distance niya from the x-axis. So, this is Y. And then, yung distance naman niya from the y-axis, this is X. No? So, that is equal to R. So, si R, that is the summation ng forces vertical is equal to the R. So, R is equal to, pag samasamahin nyo lang lahat ng forces, so that is 20 plus 50 plus 27 plus 69. So, magkano si R? That is equal to 20 plus 50 plus 70 plus 69. That is equal to 200. 9, ito lang, so, 27 pala, 166, ika, mali pa, 166 kilo newtons, okay? Yan na yung sagot, o, oh, determine the equivalent resultant force on the specified location x and y. So, para sa x, di ba, mag-moment ka lang dito sa z-axis. Papaikutin mo yung z-axis, no? So, si z-axis, no, summation ng moment about the, oh, sorry, y-axis pala, sorry. y-axis is equal to the moment at the y-axis produced by the resultant. So, that is equal to r times x is equal to, ano-ano yung mga umiikot sa kanya? So, nandiyan dyan si 1, si 20. So, that is 20. Ang distance niya from the y-axis, that is 10. No? Dahil 6 plus 4, no? 10. O, plus si F2, 69. Ang moment arm niya is also 10. No? Kasi ang distance niya is, ito si 69. Ang perpendicular distance niya is 10. Plus 50. Ang moment arm niya ay? 4. No? So, saan galing yung 4? Ito yon yung distance ni 50. So, substitute nyo lang, masasolve natin si x. So, that is equal to 20 times 10 plus 69 times 10 plus 50 times 4 divided by ano yung resultant natin? 166. So, that is equal to 6.566. Kilo ah, meters. Ito minutes ko lang siya isasolve, no? Ang midterm exam yan, na Take note. Mx, summation ng moment at x is equal to mx produced by the resultant. So, r times y. So, ano naman yung papaykutin natin na si x-axis naman? So, dito naman siya iikot. Ano-ano yung mga force na umiikot? Nandiyan dyan si 50, si 27, tsaka si... 69. So, isa-isa natin si 50. Ang moment arm ni 50 ay 3. Okay? Plus, si 69, ang moment arm ay 3 plus 8 plus 2, 12. Joke 13. Plus, si 27, ang moment arm niya ay no? Si 27 ay Hindi ilo ko. Ito, 11. No? That is 11. So, magkano si RY? May joke. Si X lang pala. Si X, sorry, Y pala. Si Y is 50 50 times 3 plus 69 times 13 plus 27 times 11 over 166. 
So answer is 8.096 meters. Sabi niya, kasi bakit binigay mo yan sa exam? Kabonus naman niya. So ganyan lang po, 5 minutes. No? So yun yung pinakalagay kong bonus, it's the yes. Parang 28 pala na. Ayan mo na, 28 to. Mali ako dito. Si F1. So, magkano ba yung F1? Si F1, that is equal to 28. So, 28 dapat yan. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Mali mag-add. Ayan naman yung pinagkabihin na si F1, di ba? Dito. So, okay, kukorek natin yan. This is 28. So, that is 167. And then, ito, magiging bago ito, magbabago. So, si X is 20 times 10 plus 69 times 10 plus 50 times 4. Divided by 167. So, that is 6.527. Ayan, nakita ko rin. And then, ito mababago. This is 28. This is 28. 28. So, that is... 50 times 3 plus 69 times 15 plus 28 times 11 divided by 167. So, mali lang naman. Yung pasensya mo mo. So, yun lang. Imagine one hour na siyang sinagutan na yan. So, diniscuss ko siya one hour, tapos dito. So, tina time three ko lang sa student. So, three hours niya sa solve. So, yun lang. Bye-bye! See you next.